Hilchis Metame Mishkova Mesha. So here the Ramam speaks about the four Tumas, four obvious Atumma, which are Metame Bimishkova Mesha. That's a Nida and a Yeledis and a Zov and a Zova. Whereas normally an Avatumma is Metame Odin Vekele Bemaga, some of them are Metame also Bemasa. There's a Chiddush Benige Ames, that Ames is also Metame Beoil. But here there's a Chiddush Benige, these obvious Atumma, that they're also metami b'mishkov ameshav. Even though they didn't touch it, and even though in other words, the music of masa means when a person carries a dove, that's tummy. That's tumas masa. Tumas masa is not when an item is carrying something. Tumas masa is only when a person is carrying a dove, which is metami b'masa. That's called tumas masa. So there is a music called tumas maga. There's a music called tumas masa. We benegir a mess. We learned there's a din of tumas ayil. And here there's a chidush, benigeh, these four, four of his hatuma, that they're metami mishkov ameshev, which means if they sit on something, which is roi le mishkov or roi le meshev, even though they didn't touch it, and even though there was an evan in between them and the dover that's becoming tummy, nevertheless they're metami mishkov ameshev. And here there's a chidush that the mishkov ameshev becomes an avatuma. Whereas normally, normally, Mishkov Mesha, normally when, when, when an Avatuma, no, the Zov is the, the Zov, the Zov, the Nida, the Yel, they're an Avatuma. If they touch an Odom or a Keli, so that Odom and Keli becomes a Rishon Latuma, like an Avatuma makes them to a Rishon Latuma. The Chiddush of Mishkov Meshav is that the Mishkov Meshav becomes an Avatuma. And in Avatuma Gufa, there could be an Avatuma, which is Metame Odom, Latame Begodim, as we'll learn by Hamshech. But a Mishkov Ameshev makes an Avatum, and that's the Chiddush. And these are the four of his Atumas, which are Metame and Mishkov Ameshev. Now, we learned really, Bemis and Hilchis, Tumas Tzaraz, that a Mitzayin is also Metame and Mishkov Ameshev. And we learned it out that he has Deimah Lezov, and there's many other Dinim. So therefore, Vaisus, he doesn't go into the gather of Hilchis, Metame and Mishkov Ameshev. So the Metame and Mishkov Ameshev is the Nidim, the Yeladis, and the Zov, and the Zov, as we'll learn. But Lehemis is a Mitzayin, is also Metame and Mishkov Ameshev. And then we also learn that a Mitzayir has an extra Tumah, which is Metame Bebiya, which means that when he comes into a place under an oil, comes into a house, so then everything that's in the house, if he's there, we, we learned that if he's there, Reish if he's there completely, so then everything that's in that house becomes Tame of Adam and Kelim. Hilchis Metame Mishkov Meshav Yesh Bechlolim Arba Mitzvah Sasei. Vizel Prat and Aleph, Din Tumas Nida, Beis Din Tumas Yiledes, Gin to, gimel tumas din tumas zava and dalit din tumas zava ubir mitzuseil ve prokamel ve peyde krishna hazov ve hazova ve hanida ve hiledes kolechet me arbatam av me ovis atumis they have it they're an av me ovis atumis so the metami kalim bemaga so they touch kalim so the kalim becomes tamei or metami odom bemago bemasa like we mentioned there's no music of a masa that a kali is carrying something. The whole music of Tumas Masa means when an Odom is carrying something which Metame be Tumas Masa, so that Odom becomes Tame. Metame Odom be Mago be Masa. And now there's a Chiddush also Metame Mishkov u Meshav u Merkov. Mishkov Meshav u Merkov mi Tachtov. And Vaoisa Oisom, that's one Chiddush. And another Chiddush is Vaoisa Oisom, Av Tuma. He makes them into an Avatuma. So, in other words, as we said, when you Metame something be Masa u be Maga, so the thing that becomes Tomei becomes a Rishul If a person carries a Zov, he didn't touch the Zov, he carried the Zov, so then he'd become a Rishul because he was Tomei Tumas Masa. Masha'in came, if a person, if, if, if you sit on Mishkov on, on Mishkov Rameshev, if the Zov sits on a Mishkov Rameshev, even though he's not touching it, nevertheless, that, that Mishkov Rameshev becomes an Avatuma. Mishkov, Meshev, Merkov. They all become an Avatuma. And then there's another din, madov al gabov, that if something is lying on top of the zov, so it's not touching the zov, it's just lying on top of the zov, is also becomes tummy, that becomes a rishon lutoma, and that's only a din derabon, because minatera, if a zov touches something, you become a, a person or a keli, becomes tummy. The fact that it's lying on top of the zov is not a reason for it to become tummy. So that's midrabon, that is metami tumas masa. So the kids are Azov, Azov, and Nidav, and Yelvis are Avatuma, the Metame, Odin, the Kalim, the Metame, the Masa, and they're also Metame, Mishkov, Omeshev, Omerkev, 
And there's also a Musa called Tumas Madaf. Allah base, Echot Zovek Tana, the Echot Zovek Dele. Now there's a Musa called the Zovek Tana and the Zovek Dele. We learned it already in Hilchas Yisuri Bia that a woman, when there's, there's the Yemei Nidosa, which the whole Cheshm, what's the Yemei Nidosa? And then there's the Belay Es Nidosa, the times, which is the Yud Aleph Yem, between Nido and Nido, the time that it's not the Es Nidosa, and that's called Yemei Ziva. Now if she sees two days, she sees one day or two days during the Yemei Ziva, so then she's considered a Zovek Tana. She's considered a Zovek Tana. She's a Shemeris Yoim Kineged Yoim. And then there's a Musa called the Zavik Dela, which if she sees for three days during the Yemei Ziva, three consecutive days, so then she becomes a Zava, and she has to be, have Zayin Nikiyim, and then she's also has to bring a carbon. So that's the din of a Zavik Gdela. So the Ram says, but again, the Chiv, the Din Tuma, that a Zava, the Tuma of a Zava makes no difference if it's Zavik Tan or Zavik Dela. We gotta be other dinim. Does she have to wait Zayin Nikiyim? Or does she have to bring a carbon? So then there's a difference. Masha'inkin, as far as the Din Tum is concerned, there's no difference. That's halacha base. Echad Zavik Tana, Echad Zavik Dela, Echad Zavik Machmas Atzma. You know, it was a natural occurrence. A Machmas Ein is something happened, and as a result of that, it happened, it, she became a Zava. Echad, that's been a Gea Zava. Echad Zav Bal Shteviyes. A bal sholish. Now a zov, in order for him to have it in a zov, he has to have bal shteirias, at least shteirias. Because a zov, the first time that he sees ziva, even if it's taka ziva, but he doesn't have a din of a zov, he has a din of a bal a regular bal keri. So the echot zov bal shteirias, in order for him to become a zov, he has to be a bal shteirias, a bal sholish. The difference is only a bal shteirias also has to wait zayin nikim, but he doesn't have to bring a carbon. A bal sholish has to bring a carbon. But as far as the Tum is concerned, the Echad Zov al Shteri is a Bal Sholish, Tumas Kulon Shava Lutami Acher. So, Nachamo, so there's a din of a Zov and there's a din of a Zov. And a Zov was saying Echad Zov Iktan of Echad Zov Iktan as far as Tum is concerned. And now that is it, when he gave a Zov, Echad Zov Bal Shteri is, and Echad Zov Bal Sholish is, even though there's differences, the Gabi other Pratim, but the Gabi, the Din Tumma, they're all the same. As soon as a ketana becomes a basechot, and if she's rei adam, she has a din of a Now basa sorry yom and beziva. After she set ten days, then she can become a zava. Now this zava means a zava gdela, because really she can become already a zava ketana on the eighth day, on the ninth day. So, but on the tenth day, she's already a din of a zava gdela. Bas shal l'shon v'yemechot. So then there's a din of biyasa biya. So then it's Matama Bail as Bail like Meshi is Bur. So there's a din of a Bail Nida, as a din also of a special din of Tuma. So that din, in order to have a din of a Bail Nida, the Nida has to be at least three years old. Cotton Ben Yemechot is Matame Beziva. He could become a Zov even Ben Yemechot, because a Zov doesn't have to have Shnei Yom. In order to be a Zova, Zova is counting with Yomim. In other words, there's a Zova Bas a, a zava of one day, of two days, and there's three days. Masha'ik and ziva is not Katolian days, it's Tolian Rias. You can have, if you have Shalish Rias on the same day, you become a zav Bal Shtei Rias. You can't have been real Ria more than a day. But Lapel, you could have two Rias in the same day. Be'echad Geirim Vavodim, Be'echad Yisrael is Metamen Benido Beziva. There's a Goy, there's no music of Nido, there's no music of Ziva. But a Yid, an Alder is a Ger, or an Evet, is metame benido beziva. Halacha is sris adam, or sris chama, metame beziva. Sris adam means a person that became a soris through the fact that there was an adam, and something happened to him later on. In other words, he wasn't born a soris. An occurrence happened. An adam would made him into a soris, or something happened that made him into a soris. And a sris chama means he was born. As soon as he saw the sun, he was already a soris. In any case, even though he's a soris, and the he can't be moiled, but nevertheless, he could be a zov. The ziva, if ziva comes out of him, so he has a din of a zov. Sris adam or sris chama is mistam and beziva. He could be, he could be mitam and beziva. Kishar abriyim, like other healthy people. Halach above, eina yishem mitam and belevin, and belevo yishem boedim. Halo yishem boedim, bo yishem belevin. And those yishem could be a nida. Nida is dam, dam nida. That makes a yishem into a nida. Masha'in kein azov is azov is loivin, 
And the middle, that makes an ish into a zov. An ish can become a zov through leven. An ish can become a nida through dam. An ish can't, dam won't make him into a tummy. Now there is an ish, a leven doesn't make here into a tummy. Halacha zayin. Tum tum bandregenes, nesna leim chumri yish ve chumri yish. So we learned that an ish is metame be leven, a ish is metame be odem. Now, a tum tum bandregenes, a sofik yish, sofik yisha. So Mimele, you give on them the chumras of a ish and a isha, Mimele, metam and beleven ki ish, because maybe they're an ish, or beedem ki isha, because maybe they're an isha. However, the tumas and besofik, it's only a sofik, it's a sofik ish, sofik isha, lufi chok, ein seif na leim truma vekotchim, so if l'mashle a tumtum saw leven, and then he touched truma vekotchim, you don't burn it, because you don't know, maybe he's an isha, and therefore she wasn't metam and beleven, or all that is, if you saw dam, maybe he's an ish. So first of all, in seif naleim truma v'kachim, and also in chayav naleim al tumas migdash v'kadoshev, because it's a sofik. Now ro leivin v'oidem kiachot. So memanushach easily. If he's a ish, so he's mitami b'leivin. If he's a ish, he's lachur mitami b'odin. So the din is seif naleim is a truma is a kachim. So since he's tami vaday, so therefore you are seif naleim is a truma is a kachim. Aval in chayov naleim al bias migdush vekadoshim. We got be bias migdush vekadoshim. Even though we know for sure that he's tummy, because monavshach he's tummy. But nevertheless, in 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 chayov naleim bias migdush vekadoshim. Why? Shenemar mizocher ad nikeva tishalechu. So we learn out ashetia hatuma tuma zocher vade a tuma nikeva vadoi. So now on the din of Shiloh, Mchutz Lamachin, that there's a din, that you have to know why he's Tommy. It's a special din, a special Bosik, that the Chiv of Shiloh, Mchutz Lamachin, which I'll continue so from there, there's also a din of Tumas Mikdash Vekadosh, which you chayev, chayev a carbon, chayev karas. So these din are only when you know what the Tum is. So in other words, you have this Tum Tum Vadregnes, that he saw Levin, and he also saw Dam, but you don't know why he's Tommy. You don't know he's Tommy because of the Levin that he saw, because he's a Zacher. But you don't know his tummy because of the dam that he saw, because of Aisha. So therefore, you, so therefore, there's no chiyav al tumas mikdash v'kadosh from this pasuk mizacher v'ad nekeva tishalecho. V'chein, just like a person that saw leivin v'oidem, so he's not chayav on tumas mikdash v'kadosh even though we know for sure he's tummy. And lepel, if he touches uh, kachim or truma, you, you burn it. Is v'chein hanigea b'leivin v'oidem shaleke achas. A person touched both of them. And both, and the leven of Aish is the metami, and the and the edim of Aish is metami. And here we touch both of them. So the man of Shach is tami. Nevertheless, any chayav al tumas mikdash v'kadosh. So both ways, say if he was a raya dam and 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 leven, and say if someone touched the leven and the dam of one person. So we know for sure he's either he's either tami mitzad the leven or tami mitzad the edim. But lepel, we don't know what what that he touched. Made him into Tommy, so he made uh, so he's not chayav on Tumas Mikdash Vegadoshev. Now, what about if Noga who atzme believing the Edom Shiro? So then is a reason chayav will be a Mikdash. So again, if he if he himself was just Ro leaving the Edom, he's not chayav will be a Mikdash. If someone touched his leaving the Edom, so that person is also not chayav will be a Mikdash. Mashenkin, if he was a real leaving the Edom, and he also touched his own leaving the Edom. So then he's chayim al bias mikdash. The Ramah brings from Chazam Sefer, from others that the pshat is a zei. Be'am is the pasuk teaches us. There's a sofik what the pasuk teaches us. The pasuk says mizacher ad nekeva de shalechu. Is it going on a person to, to be mamaya that someone that was raw levin ve'edim, so he doesn't have a din shiluach because he was because we don't know what he was re, what, what what he was raya that caused him to be tummy. Is that the pshat? Or it's going on to be Mamai, it's someone that touched his Leven Vaidim. In other words, there could be two possibilities. Someone that saw Leven Vaidim and someone that touched the Leven Vaidim. So since there's a suffix which he meant, so both of them are not Machayev and Tumas Mikdash Vakadoshim. Mashaikin, if you have the same person that say he saw Leven Vaidim and say he touched his own Leven Vaidim, so Maman of Shach is Tommy. Maman of Shach is Chayev and Tumas Mikdash Vakadoshim. Either because he saw the Leven Vaidim. Or because he touched the living Vedim. That's how the Ramara brings from the Chsam Sefer. Halacha Ches. Dama Nida, a Dama Zove, a Dama Yeledes, Metami Bikosho. The Dam itself is Metami, Sai the Dama Venida, Sai the Zove, and Sai the Yeledes. Bemaga Ubemasa, Shenamar Vadova, Benidosa Bazov. So we learn out 
that Mepi Ashmo Lomdu Shemadva Kamoyu, that the dam is binidos, is all that is like the nida. Look far the arno be isernit, being an isernit, the Shechamisha domim to me and Bisha. That there's Chamisha domim which are to me and Bisha. So there's only five types of domim which are tummy. If it's a different color, so then it's not a dam nida, she doesn't become tummy al nida. So therefore, Avalam Ross, a dam yorik. She saw Dam Yorik, so we're saying the Dam Nida is Tommy, it's Matam Magubamasa. But if it's Dam Yorik, so it doesn't have a din of Dam Nida, is Ari Utor. I, Lechura, the din is, we'll soon learn that the Roik of a Nida is also Tommy, is also an Avatum, is Matam Magubamasa. So, Eina Chinami, this Dam Yorik doesn't have a din of Dam Nida, a Batefik later, it shouldn't be any worse than, it shouldn't be any less Tommy than Roik. So that the Ram says, it's not Ruka, why? Which, which is Metame Bemago Bemasa. This Dam Yorik is not Metame Bemago Bemasa. Why? Shahareik Misagal Vietza. A Reik, in other words, comes out in the Afrin that, 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 in other words, it's gathered together. You, the person, this, the saliva is gathered in the mouth, and then it goes out. So that's the Reik is Tome in the Afrin because it's Misagal Vietza. Masha'enkin, the dam yorik, which is just shaysis, is just pouring out. It's not like she's taking it out. It's just coming out. So that's not deim al and therefore it doesn't have a din of an avatuma. But there's a special limud that teaches us that roik is metami al an avatuma. Now, since roik is misagl, in other words, it gathers together in the mouth, and then, and then you spit it out. Masha'enkin, this dam, which is shaysis, so you can learn this dam yorik. In other words, if it would be dam nida, so it would be mitome al dam nida. Masha'inkin over here, since it's not dam nida, elamai you want to, should become tome al dead if we reik. So we say, no, it can't be, you can't learn out from reik, because reik is misagal v'yetzi. Masha'inkin, this is shaysi v'yetzi. Shaysi v'yetzi, it just spills out by itself. Halachetes. Isha shiyotza havalad midafna. In other words, she didn't have the child in a regular way. She had it as a cesarean. And the Yotze Ime Dam Min Hadefen, and through the, the, the wall of the, of the womb, and of the Shadda Caesarean, came out Dam, is a Reyesi Dam Av Me Oves Atumis. That Dam, even though it didn't come out, Derech Horechem, but nevertheless, that Dam is Av Me Oves Atumis. Kidam Hanida Valleda Vazeva. The same like would be Dam Leda Nida and Ziva. Why? Shaham Mokr became Itami. The Mokr became Itami knows the Dam is coming when I'm Mokr from the Rechem. So, in, so, in words, from the, so even though it didn't come out the normal way of derech rechem, but nevertheless, since it was dam that was originally in the rechem, so that dam is tummy. The woman, even though dam came out derech hadayfen, so the dam is tummy. But the, the din of tumas nida is the tumah that comes out derech derech harechem, derech the regular way that the dam comes out. So therefore, this isha, even though dam came out of her, she's teira. So we're learning over here that the dam that finds itself in the rechem is tummy, no matter how it went out. Masha'inkin, in order for an isha to be taught to me, else nida, there has to be dam which comes out. Halachiyud. Now, when the isha is rei dam nida, she, she becomes an avatum and she has to have, and she's shivas yom tibi nida, so she's for seven days of nida. There's common to dinam and again nida. Now we're going to learn that there's a musik that the mocker of the isha, the mops are. So she had her mucker fell off her, it became detached from her body, and the nafal aritz. So the dinas lapel, the mucker touched her while it was being detached from her. So the dinas of Isha tmeya tumaser. She's tummy tumaser. She doesn't, she doesn't have a din of tumas nida. She's not an ava tumma. She's a rishon tumma. She's tmeya tumaser by the fact that she was touched by this mucker which was detached from her. Vechei nachadin. Mokr shehizia kishtei tipi margolius, a mokr which was mazia and those came out from it, not dam, not dam, but something like white, something whitish, two drops of 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 of, of white moisture that looks like little 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 little, little uh, gems. So the din is hoisha is also tmeya tumaserif. So it's a new din that we're learning. There's a musik called the isha which sees dam nida. She then she's tmeya tumas nida. Over here she didn't see dam nida. She saw shtei tibur margolis that came out of her rechem. But nevertheless, there's a din that when two tibur margolis came out of her rechem. So since these 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 this no, there's with tumas a white a white uh, a white moisture, a, a white liquid that came out of her. So and that was the in the mocker was originally in the mocker. So mele it's metami her a tumas not a tumas nida but tumas 
אבל אין הנידה, עד שתראה איך עוד מחמישה דומה מטעם בנידה. So the fees that comes out, it's a new din on us. We're, we, we know that there's a din called dam nida. Now dam nida, where a woman sees dam nida, a regular dam nida, she becomes a nida. Now we just learned that the dam nida itself is also tummy. Besides the fact that she's tummy, the dam is tummy. Then we also learned that the dam, even if it didn't come out there, recham, and therefore the dam wasn't metami her, nevertheless the dam is tummy. So the dam that comes out there, chadefen, so even though she's tar, but nevertheless, the dam is tummy. The dam has a regular din of dam nida, like dam nida, dam ziva, dam leda. That's, that's what we learned. Now we're learning another din, that there is a metzias of her becoming tummy, either by the rechem becoming detached from her, or by shtei tipe of margolius, so those two white liquid that comes out as two drops, two drops of liquid that comes out of her rechem, so that she becomes tummy to Masarev, not to Maslida, but becomes to Masarev. Now, in the, in the Ram Maruch, he right, brings from the Aruch HaShulchan, so the fees that will come out, that if a woman sees Dam Yorik, so Eino Chinami doesn't have a din of Dam, doesn't have a din of Dam, and Mamele is not Matami, but on the other hand, and it's also not Matami al Tzirik, but on the other hand, it's not any less, that's what he tainas, Kishtei Tibi Margolis. So just like a mocker, she is here, Kishtei Tibi Margolis, would make her Tome to Masarev, so who had then, if she sees Dam Yorik, also she would become Tommy Tumas Erev, which doesn't really say before Shirambam, but that's how he's bringing from the Arach HaShulchan that he's being Madam, and was, why should Dam Yorik be any less than, than Shtei Tibi Margolis, which Lachur is a Muslim Mestabak. Halacha Yudalev, Hizia Tipa Achas, we learned about if she was Hizia Kishtei Tibi Margolis, Mashayin, if it's Hizia Tipa Achas, is a reisha teira shein elu mechutz lamoker. So we know on that that tipa achas is coming mechutz lamoker. Is again. So when 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 a tipa comes from the moker, so if it's dam, so she becomes a nida. If it's not dam, so it's kishtei tipa margolis. It's white, so she doesn't become a nida. But on the other end, she becomes tummy to maserev. And al derel zeh if moker reisha shenekar v'nafalorts halacha yud beis. So we learned before that the Dhamma Vanida, the Dhamma Vaziva, Azava, Dhamma Vailadis are all Tame Avatuma and they are Matame Bemago Bemas. Now Zeve Shulzov is also Av Miovis Atumis. Kizov, Shinamar Zeve Tomehu. And that Zev is Matame Bemago Bemasa Bikoshu. So the Zeve Shulzov is Matam Bemago Bemas. Now learning Riya Rishena Shulzov, Aina Matame Bemasa. Now the Emma says the Zov himself doesn't really become a Zov until he has two Riyas of Zov. So even though the first Riyah was a Riyah of Ziva, but the the first Riyah of Ziva doesn't make him into a Zov. It makes him onto a, like a Bal, he has the name of a Balkari, even though it was a Riyah Shal Ziva. So the Mela, so that Ria can't have a Din of Ziva because it's not the Ziva of a Zov. The Ziva of a Zov is, 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 is a is metami nachamol reir rishen shul zov ain't metami b'masa varehi keshich vazera has the din of shich vazera bein the ish godel bein the ish god regardless and the male has the din of shich vazera which is metami b'maga but not b'masa v'chein so first we spoke about the ziva of the zov which was about riachas v'chein hamishkov is v'amishkov is shiyoshiv aleim mishirori rishen atchirori shniyos teir. No, a Zov is Matami Mishka Vameshav. A Balkari is not Matami Mishka Vameshav. Now, since the Zov only saw a Ria Acha Shal Ziva, so he doesn't have a din of a Zov. So, Mimele, he's not Matami Mishka Vameshav. She'eni Kari Zov, El Acha Ria Shniya, Kamesha Biyana, Bilch and Nuchusri Kapara. When does he start being called a, a Zov? Only after the Ria Shniya. Now, Ra Achas Marubi Kishnaim, he saw a long Ria, and then it has a din like it's two Rias, like we learned. So, he saw a long Ria, and that is, so, had a din of two Rias. So they in Tome Alhameset Tipachrena. So not only the Tipachrena of that long reel, which has a din of Shtayim, so if someone moves that, so that's Pshat, that moving it is like carrying it. So in Mela, so in Tome Alhameset Tipachrena. If you move the last Tipa, so then you have a din that you, that this last Tipa has a din of a Tipa of Ziva that came from Azov. That's it. So again, the reason why the rear is Shena of the Zov doesn't have a din of Ziva doesn't have the normal din of ziva and has the din of sheikh vazera because he himself is not a zov. Mashengen, if you'll have a person, for example, that has a rear rishena, and by him there is a din, that he has a din of a zov, so then he it would be matam. The Hechatim says that's a rear rishena, he doesn't have a din of a zov. So now we'll have a Nigel Metzera, which a Metzera also has a din of a zov, 
So Mela, so then he, by him the ziva is going to be matame. That's halachi in the gemul. Ria shalishena shel metzera is matame b'masa. Shenamar kol tzorua v'chol zov v'chol tamil nefesh. So we learn out hariat tzorua ki zov gomer. Tzorua has a din of a zov. And ma zov gomer zevi matame b'masa. Just like a zov, his zev is matame b'masa. Is af metzera. His zev is also matame b'masa. Now, the zeva of a Metzera doesn't have to wait for the second ziva to be called the zeva of a Metzera. In other by a Zov, you wait for the second ziva in order for him to be called a Zov. Mashenekha Metzera, the Metzera before the ziva. So, the male af Metzera is Riyasi Hori Shainis, Matambi Bamasa. By the Metzera already, the Riyari Shainis, Matambi Bamasa, because he has the name of a and a Metzera, his ziva is Matambi Bamasa, and by him, the ziva of Rishain is also Matambi Bamasa. So that's his din. So we learned that the ziva of a zov is matame b'masa, but he's not called a zov until the riyash The ziva rishena of a metzera is also matame b'mago b'masa because he has the din of a zov. Shich v'zera is only matame b'maga. I'm going to say that, but the pshat is the ziva rishena of a zov has the din of shich v'zari, which is only matame b'maga, not b'masa. Halacha yudalot. Roi kazov v'shich v'zari umei miraglov is kolechet mishloshtam av tumer din teira u metami bekol shu b'magu b'masa. Notice the rake of the zov and the shich vazera after he's already a zov. And as we're talking about the shich vazera, he was already a zov by shtei rias, and now he saw shich vazera and umemi raglov. So all of these three are metami b'magu b'masa. Harema berek v'chiyorik hazov zov b'tor. So we learn out that the rake of the zov is metami metami b'magu b'masa. Notice the fact that the tor was holding it, and also may miragla v'shich v'zarei i'efsher shaliyeh bem tzichtzuchei ziva kolshu. So there's definitely some ziva. Sayin is miragla and sayin is shich v'zera. So b'meila. So once we establish that his ziva, the ziva of a zev, is matam b'magu b'masa, so from there we can continue and know that also his mirag miraglaim and shich v'zera is also matam b'magu b'masa. Now halachet zov echad zov. The echad nida v'yeledes v'zava is also kol echad mem ruke ume miraglov avtum ekizov. So now we're extending this din by azov, and as we said, that sai ruke and sai miraglov and sai shich are all matame b'magu b'masa. So that's also by anida as well. By anida is obviously no shich vazare. So meil echad zav echad nida v'yeledes v'zava kol echad mem ruke ume miraglov avtum ekizov. We can call mokum shneim ba'alach zeilu azov. So it's echad azov, echad shar harbo. Now the shaila is, we just said that the reason why azov is metami, also ruke, shech vazari and me miraglov, b'mago b'masa, because he have that there shouldn't be tzachtzuchi ziva there. So that's b'shleim by azov, mashenkin by azov, the knachaychus, to say that, oh no, uh, that by, by, by azov, it's not shaychus to say that there's he have in the in the Meirag line that there should be tzuchzuchi of dam, there's no connection. And Memela, so therefore the Shail is, how do you learn out that the Isha is also Meirag Leo of a Zova, and the Nida and the Yeledes are also Metam Mago Bamasa? That's a, that's a, a Nukuda. No, Nida, Nida is Metam Mago Bamasa, that we know. Ziva is also Metam Mago Bamasa. Now we're saying that also that Sheikh Vazare and Reik is Metami by Azov is also a Posse. It's a Posse that teaches the Chiyori Kazov Bator. So we know that, this, that, that the Reik is Metami by Mago Masa. But this idea that the Sheikh Vazera and Alder of the Meir Aglaim of Azov is Metami by Mago Masa, that's because of the Ziva, because he have said that there shouldn't be Ziva. And that Lechura doesn't extend to a Nida and a Yeladis and a Zova. So Lechura, where do we get, what's the mocker? That Anida and the Yeladis Azova also hurt their Meiraglayim are also Metame Bemagu Bemasa. That's an issue over here. It's an issue of the I'll call upon the Nikudas Advarim that you learn out one from the other. Sof Kol Sof, since Bepeil Mamish, the Zov is Metame Bemagu Bemasa, also his Meiraglayim. So Al Deral said this din is extended to Anida and to Azova and to Yeladis. Halacha Tezain, Tisha Mashkin Bezov. There are three, nine types of Mashkin by Azov. Shleishim and Avatumah, Vehein, Ruke, Veshich Vazare, Umei Miraglov. So these three are all Avatumah, like we just learned. And Kolechid Meyelu, Mitami Odom Vekelim Bekolshu, Kamesh Biyarnu. Now, the, the, we also learned that the Ziva of Azov is Mitami Bekolshu 
and also b'mago b'masa. So why is the Ram only saying ruke shich v'zari mei miraglo? So the explanation is because the ziva, because the mei miraglo and the ruke and the shich v'zari, they're, they're, the reason why they're metame, avatume, because they're coming from azov. Because they're not, they're not metame avatume because be'etzim they're avatume. Shich v'zari be'etzim is an avatume which is not metame b'masa. And reike d'chavadi not metame b'chlal. The reason why it's being metame is because it's the roike or shech or the main miragla of zov. So that's why they're metame, the magu masa. Masha'ikin, the ziva of a zov, the ziva of a zov is not because it's coming from a zov. The ziva of a zov is metame because it's the ziva of a zov. The ziva of a zov is an avatuma, mitzad atzme. That's on one hand. But nevertheless, we learned before that it has to be the ziva of a zov. The ziva of Azov is an avatumi mitzad atzmi. But Lamashal, the ziva is shein of Azov, since the Zov is not yet Azov. So Mela doesn't have the din of a ziva of Azov. So it's like you have to. You know, the ziva of Azov is tome mitzad atzmi only if it's a ziva of Azov. Not because ziva is tome. Ziva of, of someone that's not Azov is not tome. doesn't have that din tuma. The ziva of Azov is tome, but it's not tome because it's a psamashka of Azov. It's tome because it's the ziva of Azov. That you have to say. That's that's the first three. The first three is Nachamo, Ruke, Sheikh Vazari, Mei Mirag. Now, Shleishimem, Kivlada, Tuma. There's another three types of Mashkin, which have a din of a Vlada, Tuma. Ve'elohein, Dimas, Enei, that was the tears. V'dam, Magifose, if he bleeds, if he has a maka, and the dam comes out. And also, V'chalei, Vayisha, the milk of a, of a woman. Is Kolechud, Me'elu, is Kemashkin, Tmeim. They have a din of Mashkin, Tmeim. There is the becoming Tomei from, from the Zov. She'ein metame in Odom, they're not metame Odom, because mashke tome is not metame Odom. There's a rishon letumah, it's a vlad letumah, avol metame in kelim, we didn't say from Kamesh Biyanu. A mashke, which is a vlad letumah, is metame kelim, mid Rabon. That's the other three. It's nochomot dimas eine, dam megifosei, and chalei vayisho. So they have a din of a vlad letumah. Un shleishim ehem teherim, ve'elu hein, zeyosei, his perspiration, sweat, v'leicha srucha, and v'leicha srucha, so ruach the liquid that comes out of him, that comes out of his body, hayetzim imenu, or vahare the tzeir that comes out, even liquidy tzeir has a din that it's not mekabel tumah. They're tayr hare lishleishim and azov, and they're azov vechaverim vechaverim is kemesim mishnarod. And these three that come out of azov and the chaverim of azov, which is the zov and the nid and the yeladis. Is kemesim misharodim? It's the same as it would come out from any person, just like it would come out from any person. It would be tor. So al if it comes out from a tor, it's also tor. It comes out from a zov, it's also tor. Kichei v'niye v'rirei. So Rashi nida, the Ram Mora brings a Rashi nida that says that it's different types of saliva, different types of liquids that come out of the mouth. Remember some achlekes. What what exactly kichei v'niye is? Baba Kama. But I'll call upon him. He's taich kichei v'niye. You know this. His saliva, the rire, and the spittle, the, the liquid that comes out of the mouth when a person talks, or may afshale, and the liquid that comes out of his person's nose, is harehu kiruke lecholdover. Just like the rake we said before is an av ma'avis atuma, so al derev ze kiche, nie, rire, and may af, have a din of an av, av atuma, which is metame, bemago, bemasa. Bechlal harekin chshuvim, they're considered part of the rake, part of the saliva. Now, dam hayetzi me pio ama, if a person has from the pio ama, so over there blood is coming out, or the dam hashesis me pio, blood is running out of his mouth, is arein bechlal dam megifosi, that's just like blood which is spilling out of him, just like when a person has a wound, so the, the blood is coming out of the wound, so al derazev, the dam is coming out from the ama, or the dam is coming out from his mouth, which is obviously an illness, so that considered like dam megifosi, which the Ram said before, is a vladatumah. Now, he was like sucking and pulling out dam. And he has a wound in his mouth and he was sucking out the blood. And then he spit out the blood. So then it's a reza metami karek. This blood would be metami like saliva. Why? Because Adam shemates it. When he sucks out the blood, he actually believes it's a There's definitely some, some particles of saliva there. There's saliva in this blood. And since there's saliva in the blood, so definitely... That blood has a din of saliva, which is metame, bemago, bemasa, like rake of azov.